did a song that, that I wrote about, about a year ago, coming spring. It's called Songs in the Air. It's a, it's a, uh, it's just a three-part harmony. Uh, how it works. We've been practicing it. Okay. Songs in the air, songs everywhere. I like a few that brought me close to you. Some flying by, if you blink an eye, you may miss the tune, but you come back soon. Generally, um, like American men like to sit like this, you know, because it displays their prowess. Yeah, but I, I like to do that, you know, I think that's cool. It's just more comfortable, you know. yeah. But how is it they have to sit? Chinese? Yeah, with their legs together, you know, and their feet flat on the floor. It's not like you could, if you could cross your legs with your feet flat on the floor, you could do that. But it's cross showing the, the soles of your shoe. The only way you can do that is improper. If you can get off your shoes. Now, they didn't say anything about showing the soles of your socks. You see? Now, that's more oriented. Got it. Yeah. yeah. Well, are you making a lot of money? I mean, does it, you should, no. you should probably tell people, like, I mean, does, no. does a band of your stature uh, make a lot of money? Does each of the members get a lot of money? Or those managers over there, do they get a lot of money? No, no one does, actually. How come? Uh, well, because uh, our expenses are so high. Like, we just did a, a weekend up in uh, Washington. 
was, that was basically just a, a promotional thing to get people in Washington to know our music, to see us live, you know, to generate some, some excitement. How'd it go? Well, really well. Uh, the radio stations up there are, are really on to us. They're helping us out very much. You know. we play Is that the telephone? It's not my shoe. Well, it could be my shoe. Hello? Yeah, it's free. Hello? What I'm into. You know, it, like, I, I try not to separate my music from my police. And, like, I love to write. Who are the people that, as a rock guitarist, influenced you? In the past? Yeah. yeah. Um, Michael Bloomfield. Yeah, he really did. He really did. I used to study his guitar work constantly. And who else? Uh, long time ago, Nicky Edwards. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, then from, from him I went to uh, Jeff Beck. <laughs> Jeff Beck. His, his old... He was really revolutionary as a guitar player. Mm -hmm. But, uh, uh, Julian Bream is Julian above Bream. all my favorite of the guitars. Mm -hmm. He's really a musician, really. He's, he's near perfect. Mm -hmm. How did you get into being the kind of, uh, thanks? How did you get into being the, uh, I don't know, Jesus freak? Is that what you are? I mean, no. You think of yourself as a Jesus freak? No. What do you think of yourself as? Christian. Christian. How did you get to be as vehement, as proselytizing a Christian as you now are? Uh, simple. I, I accepted when I heard what God had to give me. I accepted it as a child does when you when a child accepts a, a gift from their parents. Was there? Some and uh, it's really it's really great because the Bible is the most incredible book ever written because it's written by God. Written. Do you, think, God through do you think your mother's death provided the occasion, if not the cause, for your becoming, perhaps feeling that you needed religion? Well, I can remember uh, talking with her years ago and saying, Mom, I want to really be a good person. I want to go to heaven. And she said, you will. She was very confident, as if her prayers, you know, she really was had faith in God and her prayers. Um, Hello? <laughs> uh, John London is still not here. I would really, really...